In order, if you're going to tell someone a story, if you, you want to keep information alive, you have to make it memorable so that the person hearing it will go tell someone else. This is how it, it stays alive. Alive, 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 alive. When I think of the August Wilson African American Cultural Center, I think life. I think that August is smiling. Our ancestors are smiling. I think that in his work, he encapsulated everyone's relatives. I think of it as a place for little children to see that they belong. When I think of the August Wilson Cultural Center, I think Pittsburgh. Community, I think of education, and I think of exposure to high quality arts and culture. I think of legacy, and I think of pride. I think of Aunt Esther. I think about the journey she describes on the ship. But now the ship is different. Now the ship doesn't take us away from ourselves. The ship is the voyage to ourselves. I think about this facility, this venue, being a place that is a global destination for people around the world that have an interest in August Wilson's work, but also in seeing the premier artists that are working within a variety of genres focused on the African-American experience and the African diaspora. But this spoke to something in myself and it said, this is yours. The story of the August Wilson African-American Cultural Center began over 20 years ago. My name is Constanza Romero Wilson. I'm the executor of the August Wilson Estate. We are based here in Seattle, Washington. You know, if there's one thing that August Wilson was about was the truth. He would be getting up in the morning and he would be using his pen as usual, like his sword. Tamara Tooney, actor, producer, director, singer, and August Wilson warrior. There was Shakespeare. There was Chekhov, there was O'Neill, there was Miller, there was and is August Wilson. A small band of leaders in Pittsburgh decided to pursue a single African-American arts facility that could be a national showplace for collective history, art, music, literature, and theater. In the 1990s, uh, the NAACP was meeting here in Pittsburgh and so they all realized that there was very little to do, to go, that would show the marvelous and wonderful culture, history, art of African Americans. Well, it was the importance of having a place um, in Pittsburgh where the African diaspora could be celebrated. Mulu Baru was very important because he was then the head of the URA. And we rolled out the idea, the programming from Lord Cultural Resources and the beautiful uh, design from Allison Williams. It was definitely a joint effort of having the vision, um, putting the vision and the dream together and then going out and raising the money for it. And now it's under new leadership uh, wonderful programming going on, just a beautiful building. My name is Mark Clayton Southers. I'm the founder and producing artistic director of the Pittsburgh Playwrights Theater Company. I think it's important to the city of Pittsburgh because uh, African Americans, we don't really get recognized a lot within the downtown corridor. Um, I mean, there's shows and things like that, but there's really no institutions. There's very few black owned businesses, if any that are in downtown, in the footprint of downtown. So I think um, it's always been on the outside. We've always felt like on the outside. And now we actually have something and it's a gym. You know, it's one of the best looking buildings downtown. So I think it's very important um, for the pride of African-American culture. Um, it's also opportunity for um, our population, which is spread out and all over the city in different places to come together for events. So I think it's very important. Every place has its significance and its purpose and its importance, and the importance of this space is performance. August would have been absolutely delighted with the African-American art that is being sustained and performed and shown at the center. 
It's incredibly important to keep August Wilson's legacy alive because his plays not only tell the story of the African-American experience in Pittsburgh, but it also charts the history of the United States in the 20th century. And it's something that we can all recognize, whether you're black, white, whatever. It's the story of America. August meant a, a lot to a whole lot of people. He basically saved theater for African-American actors. And to know that he's the most produced American playwright ever, and he's a man of color, that's significant. Performing in all of August Wilson's plays, you feel like, like you've climbed a mountain because you, you're at the top and you're just looking back at all the work you did. It's just so gratifying. Here at the August Wilson African American Cultural Center, we have a variety of programming. There's truly something for everyone. Our Pittsburgh International Jazz Festival, Highmark Blues and Heritage Festival, the Black Bottom Film Festival. These are all programs that attract people from around the country. As the August Wilson African American Cultural Center continues to look toward the future, we will become known globally for the power of our programming. The organization will remain steadfast in celebrating the African American experience and the African diaspora. Confront the dark parts of yourself and work to banish them with illumination and forgiveness. Your willingness to wrestle with your demons will cause your angels to sing. I try to explore, in terms of the life I know best, those things which are common to all cultures. What comes forth from you as an artist cannot be controlled, but you have responsibilities as a global citizen. Your history dictates your duty. Blues is the bedrock of everything I do. All the characters in my plays, their ideas and their attitudes, the stance that they adopt in the world are all ideas and attitudes that are expressed in the blues. I write for myself, and my goal is bringing that world, that experience of black Americans to life on the stage and giving it a space there. All of art is a search for ways of being, of living life more fully. I'm a black American playwright. I couldn't be anything else. I make art out of black American culture. They're all cut out of the same cloth. That's who I am, and that's what I write about. And by writing about black people, you're not limiting yourself. The experience of African Americans are as wide open as God's closet. My hope and dream for the August Wilson African American Cultural Center is that 30 years from now, we're talking about all the wonderful programming, the wonderful awards that this organization has won, to be known as a place where people can travel from around the world to learn more about August Wilson's work and his legacy. Great art is a gift to humanity. So for the sake of humanity and posterity, it's important to keep that work alive and truthfully speaking, that work is living itself. Symphony. She's only known as Symphony.